One of the more complicated features in application delivery is ProxyPass, which gives you the ability to rewrite various portions of a client's request, response, etc. The most common use case for ProxyPass is the simple ability to rewrite the host header from what the client sent to what the server received. In Avi, there's a number of ways to do this, but really it can be very simple. If we go to our sample web page, and we're going right now to just the IP address, 10.134.1.14. If we go back and look in the logs on Avi, we can see this request come in and we can go down and view more about the details of this request, including we'll go to view all headers. And we can see here, these are the request headers that are received from the client, including the host header of the IP address. The headers in red are ones that Avi is removing, the ones in green are ones that Avi is adding. And we can see that Avi is just forwarding this host header onto the server. Now, if the server expects the host header to say something meaningful, like the name of the website or something like this, it's very easy in Avi to go and edit or change that. The easiest way is we just edit the virtual service, go to advanced, and under hostname translation, we just translate this to whatever we want it to be before the header is sent to the server, such as test.avi.com. And we'll save that. The client is still going to keep sending this same IP address in the host header. But now if we come back and take a look in the logs, and we find the most recent. What we can see here is that the host header was received was 10.134.1.14. This is in yellow showing that Avi has changed this to test.avi.com, which is what is now being forwarded to the server. So the server is going to receive test.avi.com, and Avi will be able to rewrite this back and forth between the client and the server. This is an example of just a, the host header, but we can do this with uh, cookie names, with uh, the URLs, URIs, the path, etc. A lot of ways to do this. The easiest way that I did that was just going into the advanced properties there and changing the hostname translation. You can be a little more flexible though and do this through something like the requests and response policies. And we can go and add a new one and say, I want to do something like modify a header such as the host header or something like this. So we could say, let's remove, modify, replace, whatever the header name with the new value, etc. Or we can go into something even more granular and get into data scripts, which allows us to script this out completely. And this is where you can have a lot of fun with something like this. So if the host name does not equal test.avi.com, change it to test.avi.com. And we can add a lot more logic all the way throughout. We have a number of examples, etc. But for most use cases, 99% Customers just need to go and type in the name of the new IP address or the, the name of the new host name that they would like it to be, and they're done.